ready? Let's go. Let's get ready to rock and roll. Yes, so let's get ready to schmona. Oh god, I'm nervous. Go. All right. I want Ken to win, by the way. Numero uno is romantic comedies. Hmm. <laughs> JT grossed out. <laughs> yeah. Your question is, who starred opposite Hugh Jackman in 2001's Kate and Leopold? Good old man. Oh, I've never seen this. Too long to tell now. Five involves John four, Roebling. Three. Oh, they're done writing. I'm thinking of the wrong movie. Ron pens down. JTE. Kate Beckinsale. Incorrect. Nicole Kidman. Meg Ryan. Ken, I'm thinking of Australia. <laughs> but it was the first thing that came to my mind, so I was like, Christian, I hate to quote Nicole Kidman. She was in movies in 2001. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Category. Uh, of category. Movie quotes. Finish the movie quote. You know, I have one simple request, and that is to have sharks with frickin' attached to their heads. You say you say blank there. So you know, this comes from a beautiful movie though. called they Awesome Powers by the great Dr. Evil. And he has a very genius mind, very imaginative mind, because he wants laser beams attached to their frickin' heads. Laser beams. Correct. Little evil. Laser one. beams. There you go. All right. So 2-1. Right. You got Beck and Sale on the first question. Nice By the way, all that. three movies the in the Austin awesome Power Saga the are great. Of comedy movies. Comedy okay. movies. <laughs> what title was the sequel of Ace Ventura Pet Detective? I didn't hear the first part. Would of you like question. to use your own rule? Ah, it was, it was a crowd noise. There was some crowd noise. Yeah, there was right, some crowd noise. Okay, right. so I'm what pretty sure it's when nature calls. Of Ace Ventura Pet Detective. I'm pretty sure it's when nature calls. No. I know Nature um, Calls is definite. Weird. I'm not sure if the when is in there. No, thank God. Um, no, it's the one with, you know, Dan Marino and the Miami Dolphins and some shenanigans. Really fun movie. Call to Nature? No. Ken. Ken. I put it, uh, the Oscar winner, Ace Ventura, out of Africa. <laughs> <laughs> oh. It's Nature Calls, isn't it? You know, uh, it's Christian, calls. I, I don't like to shoot on competitors often. How do you both miss this? When nature what? calls. When nature calls. It's like you got to pee. It's a joke. So I was pretty damn close. Here's I next category in a category. got it. Category of animated, animated movies. In what year was the first Shrek film released? Oh, I remember this very fondly. Good old it was like one of the first animated movies that I saw in theaters that I vividly remember because it was the big movie everybody wanted to see when I was in the grade I was in. I'm not going to specify what grade I was in, but I was really fucking young. <laughs> Let's just say it was all the rave back in elementary school. It's 2001. 2002. 1998? What? That was a toughie. 1998. Alright, here we go. Next one. I don't even think DreamWorks was making anime movies back in 1998. Dramas. Dramas. In Saturday Night Fever, which New York borough does disco loving Tony Monero call home? Which New York borough? Yeah. There are 13 New York boroughs, I believe. Oh, you topped me. <laughs> I've only seen Five, Saturday Night Fever like four, once. Three, two, Is it Brooklyn? One. I'm very interested to hear your answer, JTE. Queens? No. Uh, Ken. I'm more familiar with the Sylvester Stallone directed sequel, Staying Alive, Alive, but I'm going to say Brooklyn. That's correct. Wow. Ooh. And also, I remember this, I think, because there's a scene James towards the end to on the Verizon Bridge that connects Brooklyn to Staten Island, where right, I'm from. Next category, so that's where my Oscar mind went. Films. Oscars. Glad it worked out in my favor. Who won an Academy Award? For their role in a fish called Wanda. I wish they advertised the movie like that. <laughs> Sounds like a horror movie. Wanda. No, it's not like a horror movie. A fish called Wanda. In a fish called uh, In the belly of a fish uh, called Wanda. Five, uh, I don't know. Four, three, two, one. Kenneth. Kevin Klein? Correct. JT. I put Michelle Pfeiffer. Kevin Klein. There you go. Never. Right. He duped us. He duped us. <laughs> Never seen it. Yeah. It looked like he missed it. Yeah. JT, but now I want to see it uh, get the because there's a fish exactly called Wanda in it. Right. Probably not Most in a comedy. Kevin well, it's Clean. not a comedy; it's a drama. But it would be funny <laughs> if there was a fish named Wanda. <laughs> that spoke. These are movies. And it'd be out. even funnier in the if it cursed. 80s. Your question is this: Which no, movie that'd be stupid. spans the globe from Queens, New York, to the fictional nation of Zamunda? Oh, good old Zamunda! You're from Queens. Yeah, You're from Bayside in Queens. Bayside, yeah. you went to high school with such characters Zach as Zach Morris, and Screech. See, see, see. If you could not finish my Say by the Bell jokes. Sorry. Five, 
for AC Slater, three, Jesse Spano, two, one. Zoolander? Pens down, yeah, JT. Coming to America? Correct. <laughs> Coming to America. I feel horrible. Keeps the two point lead. Uh, I've never seen and, uh, coming to America before. From having a lead going into round two here. Kill me. I will watch it though because Eddie Murphy's a god, and I don't know why I haven't seen it. character in the 1999 film The Thirteenth Warrior. You know, fun fact. What? I was the 81st warrior. <laughs> why you like that? Because so it's much? funny. Come on. Five. It's funny. I don't think he was marketable in 1999, but Christian Slater? I can't remember, so Tom Cruise is always a good guess. That's incorrect. Oh, Antonio Banderas. That's correct. Oh. Little Evil picking up a point See, here. Five, I would have never four. went that direction. Great first round here. 5 4 as we move into round uh, I got two four points. I'll two. take I've that. I've never seen somebody losing after round one be more cocky. Round two. Also, like Mark Ellis, I really love your Mario hat. You look like. That wheel is that like a Mario Odyssey hat? Because in the new Mario, so, uh, in the new Mario Odyssey game, you put your Once hat you on objects and you become those objects. Your four questions are each worth two points. It's the most bizarre sure thing in the world, but it's just, I don't know, it's, it could be fun. It looks like a lot of fun, based on the E3 there demos that I've seen. But he's killing it in the hat and the shirt game. Space Jam? Ken Hapsock, you are in the lead. You may have a spin at the wheel. Remember, not sure why he's wearing the hat, but you do not I'm not like going to complain. You spin. Sorry, Star Wars is not on there. I'm going to I'm gonna take the kick, spin, and see what happens. Come on, Pixar. Here he goes. Come on, Pixar. Ken, keeping the show rolling. You got to think Ken might be looking for that romantic picture. comedy category. Is new he going to get it? I would take new, new releases. releases. New releases is tough. Uh, I'm but gonna spin again. I'm not sure yeah, Ken sees again. movies see on a weekly basis pictures. like everybody else in Collider usually tends to. So, yeah, good. He does good. not have show notes in front of him. Oh. Completely different ball game when you're under the white hot spotlight. Right back oh. This happens a lot. Where they pick right, a category and they spin man. again and it ends up, no matter how hard or slow they spin, he works for goes in the same category. All right, Ken Napsock, you spun new releases. He doesn't see a lot of talking pictures. He didn't want it, but I'll be damned he got it. In the so category of new releases, you have four questions, Ken. I will be doing the questions here, Ken. First question. Who provides the voice of the villain in Despicable Me 3? Oh. The villain is uh, Steve Carell. That's incorrect. JTE for the... It's Trey Parker. It's one or the other. I'm just trying to decide which one of the two. It's Trey Parker, right? Trey Parker. That's correct. Yeah. Uh, Ken, thinking of Despicable Me 1, kind of the villain. Yep. Yep. Anti-hero, maybe. All right, here we go, Ken. Question I didn't even two. see the movie yet. In Hacksaw Ridge, no. Desmond Doss refused to carry a weapon on religious grounds. What Protestant denomination did he belong to? I can take multiple choice. A, Lutheran. B, Pentecostal. C, Evangelical. D, Seventh-day Adventist. Evangelical. And say Pentecostal B. That's incorrect. A. That's incorrect. The answer is D. Seventh Day Adventist. Nope. All right. Love the movie. Don't remember that. All right. Here we go, Ken. Oh. Next question. Who directed the film King Arthur: Legend of the Sword? Oh, it was uh, uh, Guy Ritchie. For two points. I would have gotten Lord. that. All right. And but based on how I'm playing the game right now, I'm not going to take that. New releases, <laughs> what is the first name of Elizabeth Banks' character? In Power Rangers. Uh, that's oh. Rita. For two points. There you go. I would have gotten that multiple Price choice, so I'm going to give myself a point. All right, nine, six, and I would have gotten it on Guy Ritchie really if I gave him a multiple choice. So I'll, actually, I'll give myself a point for that. So let's go, JT. Give it a spin, I don't please. think good spin, as quick as they do sometimes. The so field, in my situation, because I hesitated on both, I would have probably gotten multiple choice. And then I would have definitely gotten both of those. I like to think that I would think of Rita or Guy Ritchie without having the multiple choice. But for the sake of the reaction... This is interesting because that's what I would have done. Pixar, so he won't be able to steal. But that I'm giving myself the benefit of the doubt. <laughs> interesting, interesting yes, logic. thank you for that insight into your mentality, JTE. He's looking for action and adventure. It's slowing down, but it might have enough juice to get back to Sandra Bullock. Spy, spy movies. movies. All right. Spy versus spy. spy. I like go. that. I go. love JTE that. Spy movies for JTE, but the question is, is Ken Nassau any good spy, spy movies? movies? We're going to find out here. This is going to be ugly. Who me. would you say is a better spy between the two of them? I'm not sure I'm how uh, JTE's knowledge JTE. spy films is, but... I, I lied my way onto the show. So. I know, that's why I say that. Yeah. <laughs> All right, JTE. Go ahead. Your first question in the world of spy movies. 
How many James Bond movies did the villain named Jaws appear in? Not a big James Bond fan. Um, Five, four, Most three. Multi-Chase is going to give me numbers. I'm going to say one. That is incorrect. Ten knapsack to steal. Two. Correct. Two points. Oh! I, that is a gash oh. above the right eye. Uh, he should have listened. I would have said that too, because yeah, I'm not going to give him the toys on numbers. So. Down to one point. Yeah. Right. It's not just about the yeah. answers. Yeah. The answer is the point I value right. associated with the question. Big as long steal. As, not, as long as this ain't all James Bond, I'll be okay. Big We're steal. moving on. In the James Bond film. I'm kidding. Again? No. <laughs> Jason Bourne eliminates CIA asset Desh Baksani by suffocating him with a towel in which Bourne film? Is it premise? Uh, mm. Repeat the question. I'll use one. Jason Bourne eliminates CIA asset Desh Boksani by suffocating him. Wait, no. With a towel in what Bourne That's ultimatum. Let's see, there's only four. It's ultimatum. Uh, Five. Four. Multiple choice. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you know the name of well, you know the name of the title. Guess is it right? That's two points. That's uh, born supremacy, born ultimatum, or Jason. I'm pretty sure born. it's ultimatum. I, I just well, see, I'm just I trying to keep them from I getting see the, the steal. strategy. <laughs> um, I'll say ultimatum. Whoa! One point, one point for wow. I got that. And I would have said that with that multiple strategy. choice, so I'm giving myself two points. Might have paid off. JT, your next question. I thought it was supremacy Who first. Who plays man. Luther Stickle? In the Mission Impossible franchise. Ving Rames? Two more points. points. Nah, no, I wouldn't Two have gotten that. Two more points for JTE. But I would have taken multiple choice for JTE, that. I'm not question. confident I would have gotten that on multiple choice. In the world of spy movies, who directed the 2015 film The Man from Uncle? Oh, Guy Ritchie. Guy Ritchie. It's Another a guy, guy Richie Richie question. question. Guy Richie question. Double are Guy Richie, baby. Double Guy Richie, and we have it a tie game going here. Going in round three. How come I knew that Davis quicker than King Arthur? Look movies at that. 11 11. JTE uh, comes back and shows yeah, why he yeah. is yeah. part of the team champions. This is a and now tight we get game. to the third round. This 11 is 11, make out a wish. Who's going to make it into the ultimate showdown here? Will it be the pit boss? Will it be Little Evil? We're going to find out, Mark. How do the rules work? Ken has badges. JT has belts. We're going to find out who's taking him to the next round in the ultimate showdown. Can't have any better in the showdown when it comes down to the wire when people are either tied or it's like a matter of like a point or two movie category up here at our or just sports in general it doesn't get any better than seeing two teams competing at an extremely similar high level where they're both going back and forth and it's just a matter of one little mistake or just one triumph that creates victory is gonna give us three numbers first let's do five eleven twelve that's how we count can that's gonna go ten Four and nineteen. All right. Wow, he like had those go. ready. All right. So we're gonna start. We're gonna start with Ken. Ken will start with question number ten. Ken, you chose category ten. That is movie release dates. Oh. Which year saw the release of blockbuster comedies Liar Liar and Austin Powers International Man of Mystery? 1997. That is correct. Sharks Shit. with wow. freaking laser beams. Good move on uh, Ken Napsok. He must have remembered exactly where he was when that happened. I had to think quick because I knew he was going to answer that right away. That movie and the year it was released. Uh, JT, your turn. You picked category number five for mystifying reasons. The category is dramas. Okay. And your question is this. What traditionally comedic actor played Steve Wozniak in 2015's Steve oh, Jobs? Oh, Seth Rogen. Seth Rogen. Two points for tied. Points. There you go. Two All points. Right. Tied again. He hits it. Ken Great movie, by the way. My favorite Ken movie of that year. Pointer. And that is... And right. I've seen it a couple more times since four. I saw it that Ken year, and it just gets better and better. category of classics. Ooh. Classics. Oh. Norma Desmond is a washed-up actress in what classic Hollywood tale? Sunset Boulevard? Sunset Boulevard. I'm just taking a wild question. guess. Yes, Ken. Norma Desmond is a washed-up actress. See, I think that because there is a washed-up actress Hollywood in Sunset tale. Boulevard who wants to get the spotlight again. So that's where we're... I, I am so... It just seems... Um, 
Five, four, three, two. Come on, Ken. One. Cat on a hot tin roof. Yes. Sunset Boulevard. That's we're looking for Sunset wow. Boulevard. JT wow. does not get the points no here points for that. Awarded whatsoever. I, I would have gotten that. JT, no steals. JT, but, yeah, JT will get a chance. Three here points now for me. Take the lead. Come on. If he hits this oh number God. eleven, number eleven for JTE. All right. <sighs> Sorry. JT, your three-point question. You chose category eleven. I'm sweating. Which is like I'm not actually sweating, but I feel biopics. like I'm sweating. Okay. Biopics, and your question is this: mm. Who played Frida Kahlo, the 2002 film Frida? Uh, hopefully my future Salma wife, Hayek. Salma Hayek. There you go. Three points for JT. <laughs> Got it. Nice thing to say about your girlfriend, JT. Taking the lead here, JT. Uh, three I just pulled that out of my ass. I've never seen now. it, but like Salma Hayek was big during that time period. Pointer. Still is, but like that was like pinnacle Salma Hayek, I guess. If he misses it, JTE will finally be in the ultimate no. showdown. No, <laughs> JTE is winning now. Here we go. The mark he chose, category 19. Ken, that would be comic book movies. Ooh, okay. Oh boy. Comic book movies. Okay. All right, here we go. Ken, what I'm nervous. two comic book sequels have been directed by Guillermo del Toro? No, Hellboy. Do Hellboy 2. Oh, and Bleed. And repeat the question. Hellboy and Bleed. What two comic book sequels have been directed? So I'm giving myself that. One, two, three, four, five. Five, four, three, two, one. Pacific Rim. I guess. Hey, and you are the winner! Wait, you baby! All right, but to be honest, well fought on both sides. He deserves to win. They both play really well. I'm just disappointed that Ken didn't win. The Patriots just continue the domination, though, and it's as baffling as it is frustrating and angering. <laughs> so as we come to the conclusion for this week's Friday game of the Movie Trivia Showdown between Ken Knapsack and JT, Ken Knapsack lost... Uh, JT once that continues the domination again of the Patriots and gotta say they are earning their way to the title and getting their way in a respectable way it just annoys me because they're despicable people <laughs> the way they are in this um you know competition but I have to say I broke a record I've played this game three times so far and I got the most this time I didn't do well in the first round but I got of all the questions and evaluating how I would answer them, I got 22 points. And I'm pretty proud of myself that I'm continually getting better. I'm setting the bar higher for myself. And now that my sideline play session is over, I want to know what you guys thought of this as well as the actual match. Um, what side were you on? Were you a fan of Ken or JT? And um, what did you think of the actual questions, the whole match? And uh, let me know anything about the movie Trivia Down in the comments down below. If you have never seen the movie Trivia Schmodown, this is your first time seeing it, go subscribe to Collider, go subscribe to the Schmodown now, and make sure you're there to watch these. They are on twice a week, Tuesdays and Fridays, and they're building up to a tournament. Cool stuff is happening, and you will find out all of that and more if you follow them on Collider. Go follow them ASAP. I am John Mafio, a.k.a. Mothman Jones. If you enjoyed my sideline play of this week's match from Friday, please, yesterday, a.k.a., please like, subscribe so you don't miss a video from me ever again, and another sideline play, which will be happening on a weekly basis. And that's it. I'm John Mafio, and I'll see you guys for the next sideline play. See you next time.